talk about additive manufacturing, this process generally changes the paradigm of how we approach in creating a component. The process offers a wide flexibility in terms of generating complex components with intricate shapes. With these words said, the process also comes with wide range of problems when it comes to the scalability. Currently, we are working with DRDO in scaling up this component for the large area additive manufacturing or the big area additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing is defined as a process of manufacturing components usually layer by layer using the three-dimensional model data. This is our YRR additive manufacturing setup. This setup is made by retrofitting a gas metal art welding torch to a three-axis machining center. Using this setup, we can deposit a components of size 600 mm by 400 mm by 400 mm. Also, using this setup to manufacture complex overhang components, we use a trunnion table capable of tilting the substrate plate such that the deposition torch always remains normal to the surface, making it possible to deposit the complex overhang components. Further, uh, to control and mitigate the thermal distortion and residual stresses during deposition, we adopt proper thermal management techniques like total or selective heating and cooling strategies of substrate and deposited layers as the deposition progresses. To deposit large scale components larger than 1 meter in size, we do have another setup of a 6 axis robo equipped with twin wire torch. Using this robot setup, we can deposit components of more than 1 meter in size. Also, using this setup, we can deposit functionally gradient materials by feeding two different materials through the twin wire torch. The setup we have over here is a 5-axis CNC setup with a laser cladding head, which can be used to generate complex components with materials that are typically considered difficult to form or machine. Now an inherent characteristic of a process like laser powder DED is the fact that the cooling rates are very high which could lead to an isotropy which is why the study of the process structure property relationship is very important which is one of the objectives being researched in our lab. Now you could ask why do we need a process like DED when we have high deposition rate processes like wire arc additive manufacturing. The reason for this is the very small spot dia that we get through a laser which reduces the globalized heating of the substrate, thus reducing the thermal damage on the substrate as a whole because we get localized heating. Now this helps us in the repair and refurbishment of very small components such as gas turbine blades. This plays very well into the current industrial demand of green or circular manufacturing in which we try to increase the lifetime of a product while reducing the environmental impact of the part.